Hi and welcome back to my Photoshop basics series of tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at the basics of image resolution. We'll start by opening file. So we'll go to file, open and we'll choose our regular ducky image. Now anything visible on your computer screen is made up of pixels and this image is no different. If we go into image, image size, we're presented with this dialog box. Now there are three main areas to this dialog box. The top one refers to its dimensions in pixels and its file size. In this case the file size is 799.7k and its width in pixels is 500 and its height 546 and when we refer to pixels we refer to the, the number of squares that make up an image we can see these squares if we cancel that for a second if we magnify the image we can see these squares or pixels quite clearly and each pixel will be assigned a value and that value determines its color go to view fit on screen and we go to image image size again so this image is made up of 500 pixels from left to right and 546 pixels from top to bottom if we were to adjust this image for instance change this to 600 this little chain link shows that the height will be adjusted accordingly and it will the image would keep its proportions the same goes for within the document size we can change the image width and height either in pixels or in percent 50% would reduce this the image by half pixels are far more accurate though in the next part it refers to the document size as in physical size if we were to print the image out in this case it is 17.64 centimeters by 19.26 centimeters we can also change this to percent inches centimeters millimeters points hikers columns we'll leave it on centimeters at the moment and the resolution which at the moment stands at 72 pixels per inch this is your standard screen resolution so if we were to save this file and use it for the for uploading to the web or emailing 72 is perfectly adequate for print we'd increase this from anything between 200 and 300 depending on 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 the resolution we, we want and the sharpness of the image we want in the printed image down here we have a few tick boxes scale styles is any style incorporated in the image and we were to rescale the image using any of these options we would retain the styles the styles would scale down automatically constrain proportions if we click on this you can see that the chain link disappears and the resample image is how we'd adjust the size of the image using the algorithm stated here by cubic sharper would increase the sharpness or hold the sharpness of the image by cubic smoother would smooth out any transitions between colors nearest neighbor would create a sharp image it would hold an edge between two contrasting colors now if we were to resize this image for print and to get a reasonable print the first thing we'd need to do is to increase its resolution to 300 but by doing this if you've noticed the pixel dimensions of the image has increased significantly and these pixels have been added to the image using 
this algorithm depending on what it's set at. In other words, the data wasn't there and the computers calculated or best guessed the pixels it's adding as a, as a, as, as a colour value. So we've brought that back down to 72. Now we can keep the actual pixel size of the image. If we click the resample image, that is now fixed at 500 by 546. If we were to increase the resolution to 300 for print, in order to get 300 pixels per inch resolution, we've had to squash the image down. And the image is quite small, 4.23 by 4.62. We can get away with 200, which would increase the image size. But as a rule of thumb, no matter what your image you're editing, you always need to get the highest pixel dimensioned image you can possibly get. Um, an example of this would be from if you were choosing a camera and you had the choice between a 5 million pixel camera or a 12 million pixel camera, then usually it's best to go for a 12 million pixel camera. Um, if I cancel this for a second and go to File, New. Now, if we were to look at a, a document and it was 800 pixels by 600 pixels, we'll forget the resolution for a moment. And we were to bring up our calculator. And we were to type in 800 times 600 equals that's 480,000 pixels so that's like half a megapixel now cameras when they first came out were 200 mega 200 pixel 200,000 pixel cameras these days you can get for quite a decent price 12 million pixel camera or 12 megapixel camera so for instance if we cancel that for a second and we were to choose an A1 or A4 sorry print resolution image and we were to go into the image size we can see that the pixel dimension of this image is 2480 by 3508 at 300 dpi so if we were to bring our calculator up to get a perfect print, an A per perfect A4 print, we times 2,480 by 3,508. That would equal 8,699,844. Therefore, a 9 million pixel camera would give you a, a good image for A4 print. You could get away with increasing this, but it's never a good idea. Okay, I hope that's explained a few things. Um, in my next one, we'll go a little bit deeper into image resolution and how we can change the image size suitably for either email or for print. See you then.